Okay, so today we're going to work on this chair. Um, don't mind the background. I'm in my basement. It's a snowy, yucky day outside here in Massachusetts, and I'm going to work on this chair. I'm determined to get it done. It's been here forever. It, I, this was a set of six. I ended up with two, gave four away, and I started painting this blue a while back. Um, it's not the color that I want anymore. It needed to be painted. Believe me, uh, either that or it would have needed to be reupholstered. So I simply just mixed up some pink. I wanted it to be a pale pink. And you'll see as it turns out, it ends up being bubblegum pink because the pale pink was just too, well, it was too pale. So I'm using all different kinds of fabric paints in this video. Um, I will put my two favorite brands in the description below and you the best thing to do when you're painting fabric i know you can paint fabric with all kinds of paint as long as you use water i find that fabric paint is meant for fabric and this is what works best for me i still use waters because i want to did i say waters i still use water excuse me um to wet the fabric because i do want that paint to get inside the fabric and not just lay on the top so after I mixed my white and my, I believe it was like a hot pink to make this bubblegum pink, which I like so much more, I started blending some whites. And there, there is going to be some blending on this fabric chair. And this is what's gonna make it fun. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So we wet the chair, we mixed our color, and I've used different, fab uh, different fabric paints, mixed them all up together, nothing bad happens. And now I'm just using white. I did do two coats of the pink, just so you know. All right, so let's let's just get to it. Okay, so now that we have the front all pinked up, we're gonna mix some neon pink and some white, two different brands of fabric paint um, to do the back of the chair as it is also um, fabric. So that's what we're going to do here. We're just going to mix it all up. Actually, I mixed two pinks here and um, a soft pink and a neon pink and the white to make the color for the back of the chair, which is this plain white. And here we go with the bubblegum pink again. I just love this color. It's like bright and happy. Okay, now that we've got the back all nice and pink, I am going to paint the wooden part of the chair. I usually would use chalk paint for this. I usually use Debbie's Design Diary chalk paint. Um, but since I was at home and there was a snowstorm, I had no choice but to use my acrylic paints, which is the only thing I had at home. So I used the blue. You can choose any blue that you like. And then I used white acrylic on top of the blue because it just one color, it just wasn't, I wanted this to be like a bold chair and with lots of colors. So once I got the white on there, I just rubbed it in and rubbed some off. And I just wanted it, the white is more of an accent. It's not to change the blue at all, but just to give it a little bit of more of that oomph that it would have needed. And also um, when I did rub the white off, I think some of the blue actually did come off where it was still wet, which is fine with me because I wanted some of that brown of the original color of the wood to come out. So I want this to look like a really pretty bold chair, but also with a little bit of that chippiness, not chippiness, but that, that distressed look coming through. Okay, so now back to the front of the chair and we're gonna spritz it again with some water because now this paint is dry and we got more paint to layer on here. I will do my very best to explain to you how I did the flowers here. And hopefully, hopefully it'll be okay. Anyway, so I just start with this big blob of white. This is going to be my base. And it's, there's no particular shape or anything. Mm, make sure you use a good brush. This one's not that great and the hair tends to fall off. One good thing to do with a brush before you use it, just kind of like, um, just try to see if, you, if there's any loose hairs by just patting it down. Oh, I can't even explain that. Oh, right, let's go back to the flowers. All right, so after brushing off some of the hairs that fell off of that brush, we're going to grab another brush, and I have, uh, it's like a neon green, 
And I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the white, only this time with the green, but I don't wanna cover all of that white. So this is basically just like the background where the flowers are gonna go on top of that. It's gonna be all about layering and you gotta just not be afraid and go for it. Nothing bad will happen, I promise. Okay, so then we're gonna take another green, or I did. You can use any color you want. This is not a neon green, it's a darker uh, green of fabric paint. Again, this is all fabric paint because now we are back to the fabric. I don't wanna cover all of the white and I don't wanna cover all of that neon green because we're building this base and we want all of those colors to pretty much just show through. Okay, now we're going with the red and this is sort of like the base of the flowers and this is where I really start layering. So we're going back to white. Now the paint is still a little bit wet, this red. So when you put on that white, it's gonna create that really pretty soft pink. And you're just gonna kind of swirl a little bit um, and just go into swirly motions, kind of like a circle, but don't make a circle circle because you know flowers aren't a circle. But as you can see, there's still those other colors that I had put on before, the whites, the greens, and the reds are still showing through. And then after we do the red, we're gonna do more white. And of course, I also, while I was off camera, decided that, hey, I'm gonna put some flowers on the seat too. And you can totally do that. This is like your canvas that's not a canvas, it's a chair. And really, I believe anything could be a canvas, for sure. So now it's time to add more white and just simply, you're gonna keep layering. Again, now with this top layer of white, um, you're gonna just do the circle thing, but you don't wanna cover the all of the color that's underneath. Because if you think of a flower or a rose, it's different shades, or they look different depending. It's not like all oh, one color, there's shading. And this is kind of, I guess, what we're doing here. I don't know how to explain it. Like I said, I would try my best to explain how I do what I do. And you're just gonna kind of, there's no rhyme or reason. You don't want it to be perfect and perfectly perfect is way better, I think. And you're just gonna just kind of go around in that area where you did the pink. And actually from here on out, we're just gonna be layering color on top of color. So let's go, let's do this. So, what you need to do is just continue layering until you are happy with your flowers and the way they look and that the color is bright enough. So I kept at it for a little while, adding colors here and there until I was happy with it. next part I wanted to add a little bit of gold and for this if you have gold gilding wax you could use that I'm using my finger you could use a brush um, this the gold looks really pretty in areas where there is like a little bit of a design like this chair has here in the front and it's just a highlight and that's it nothing more we're not gonna put it on the whole chair um, we are gonna put some on the fabric but as I said you can use gold gilding wax or if you have gold paint you can do that too and I did have gold acrylic paint so that's that's what I used here and I'm just going to make sure to put it here and there on the wooden part of the chair over the blue and over the white that we had put on here previously and this is just going to give it a little bit of a pop a little bit of a bling and I think it's going to make it pretty Okay, so now it's time to do the back of the chair. Remember, it's fabric also, and we're pretty much gonna do it the same way we did the front. Um, I use colors that were a little bit different, so it's gonna look like it's darker, and it did turn out darker, 
but then I did add colors, layering, layering, layering until I got it lighter. It is a little bit slightly off in the front, but it's the back of the seat. And I like the way it turned out. So just stay, stay tuned. It looks like a mess right now, but it won't stay that way. That's, that's the great thing about doing something like this. You can just keep going until you get it the way you want it. Okay, so we're pretty much done. All you need to do is seal. I will put what I use as a sealant in the description below. And if you're wondering if this chair is stiff and hard to sit on, absolutely not, because as I said, I use fabric paint. Makes all the difference. Okay, I'll finish. So if you like this video, it'd be really helpful and great if you could give it a like and subscribe to my channel so that I can grow and bring more content for you. Bye.